Alright, so I just got this package from Right Stuff, and it doesn't actually come out until Tuesday, so I figured I would do a quick unboxing video for it. Just show it off a bit before it's actually out. Didn't see any unboxings for it, so I figured I could do it. It's the information stuff. Advertisements for Blog Horizon and Queen's Beautiful Warrior Blade and Maid Sama, which I have like two advertisements from from other stuff I got. From. Okay, and the actual set is Tiger and Bunny the what Tiger and Bunny the movie The Rising, but I'll just say Tiger and Bunny The Rising for simplicity purposes. So the case is actually really cool. It's got the slipcase has this really cool like reflective cover so you can kind of see my reflection a bit. It's got Tiger and Bunny on the, well, Wild Tiger and Barnaby on the front. Let's see. There's a spine. And the back cover with Explaining feature the special features and stuff. There's just like you know the typical stuff: trailers, promo videos, uh, some stuff from the Japanese premiere. There's like Queen openings, stuff like that. A couple screen caps, and basically, The Rising is well, The Rising is just like a sequel to the main series, and it has a different cover on the inside. It has. Wild Tiger, Barnaby, and Golden Ryan on the front. And Golden Ryan is the new character to the movie. So basically, it takes place after the... It takes place after the last episode, which I'm about to spoil right now. Okay, so like by the end of the series, Wild Tiger's powers are down to like... They work for one minute, so... He ends up joining a new B League for Hero TV, just so he can, you know, still fight crime, but you know he can't actually do as much as he used to. So he joins there and just starts with, you know, him and Barnaby are on the B team now because they're partners. So you know they're both on the B team. See, there's the Blu-ray, DVD, the rest of Hero TV. All right, so. Going back to things, um, yeah, so basically they call Barnaby and Kotetsu in to come back to the A-League, but really they only wanted Barnaby, so they talked to Kotetsu separately, and they were like, hey, you get to, hey, we're not actually adding you, we're giving Barnaby a new partner, but don't tell him because he won't agree to it, so Barnaby, Kotetsu's just like, yeah, fine, and he kind of goes through a bit of like, an existential crisis, I guess, or whatever. I don't know, he's just kind of trying to figure out if he should still be a hero or not. And then, Golden Ryan gets assigned Barnaby's new partner. Barnaby doesn't like him that much. And there's some villains doing stuff during some festival thing. And, yeah. There's also a lot of focus on Fire Emblem in this, which was pretty cool. So we get some cool backstory with him. But... Other than that, there wasn't a whole lot going on with it, but, I mean, if you like Tiger and Bunny, it's a pretty good movie. I haven't actually watched the English dub yet. I watched the Japanese dub online. And, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to read the back, though, really quick, because I probably summarized it poorly. The heroes of Tiger and Bunny are back in an all-new feature-length film. Kotetsu T. Kaburagi, a.k.a. Wild Tiger, and Barnaby Brooks Jr.'s partnership comes to a sudden end when Apollon Media's new owner, Mark Schneider, fires Kotetsu and moves Barnaby back into the first league, pairing him up with Golden Ryan, a new hero with awesome powers and a huge ego to match. When the heroes are sent to investigate a string of strange incidents, they are close to closely... Oh, tied closely to the goddess like legend they discover three super powered nests plotting to bring terror and destruction to Sternveld. Okay, so I did pretty much hit the nail on the head with that. So yeah, that's it. That's Tiger and Bunny the Rising. 
pretty cool. So if you've never checked out the Tiger and Bunny series, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're into the superhero genre, this is a really cool anime if you're into superhero stuff. Because they took a lot of interesting ideas that you don't see in really any superhero comics or anything. So it's worth checking out.